Hi everyone, I am going to share a few tips if you would like to remember your dreams. It's a question that I get asked all the time. People ask me, you know, how do you remember your dreams? I share a lot about my dreams and different techniques and strategies and um, ways to analyze them so that you can be informed going forward. So dreams are that, that gateway, that portal between your consciousness here and this vast like quantum field of information that we all have access to. So all of us dream. I know I have a number of people that have said to me, I don't dream. Well, you do, it's just you don't remember it. You can remember your dreams and you can use that information from your dreams to inform your present and your future. So first step, before you go to bed at night, set the intention that you are going to remember your dream and have a question or some idea of what it is that you would like more information about. So for instance, um, if you are in a relationship and it's feeling a bit heavy or there's something about it that just is not feeling good at, the, at that time, just kind of have that thought in mind. Set the intention to have a dream that's going to inform you as to a, a step to take. And that doesn't mean necessarily ending the relationship. It might just be, you know, a conversation or a memory that comes through in the dream of some something that happened in this relationship and maybe a past relationship where you can connect the dots between the two. And in your dream state, in that really um, relaxed subconscious state, information can more easily flow through. Your conscious mind is not blocking the information. So, for in, so we have the example of the relationship. So, before you go to bed, you just you know sit quietly or lay quietly, and just you know have the the idea of okay, I'd really love some information about how to move forward in this relationship, and set the intention to remember the dream. Okay, so that's the first step. That's pretty easy. That's pretty simple. Okay, the second step is on the other side of that in the morning when you wake up. Okay, this is huge. This is key. So be sure to pay attention to this part. When you wake up, as soon as you are consciously aware that you have had a dream, I need you to stay in that same position, keep your eyes closed, and try to recap the dream in your mind, feeling it as if you felt it in the dream, you know, kind of replaying it in your head so that you really have it down solid because it will disappear very quickly. Um, you know, when you open your eyes, it's almost like the, the mist in the morning when the sun hits it. You know, it starts to fade very, very fast. So your memory of your dream will fade very, very fast if you open your eyes. When you stay with your eyes closed, it's telling your, your mind and your body to stay in that kind of sleepy state. So that's number one for that phase two part of remembering your dream is to keep your eyes closed to see if you can summarize it in your dream. And if you have moved position, go back into the position that you were in when you woke up. If you, if you remember that, you know, if you can remember what position you were in. Some people don't, you know, you're kind of in that really sleepy, hazy place and you can't recall, it's okay. All right, once you've done that, you wanna make sure that you are able to recount it right away. So as soon as you open your eyes, you've got two choices. You can, um, if you are not having, you don't have someone next to you and you're able to use a voice recorder on your phone, there are a number of apps, record it in your phone. Just kind of free flow, whatever comes through. And you might find that doing that, you may start to have some insights as soon as you start to say it out loud. The next step is maybe, um, if you don't have that, is maybe a dream journal. So have that along with a pen or a pencil next to your bed so that as soon as you wake up, if you're not able to voice record, if you have somebody laying next to you, you can just write down everything that comes to you. And when you do that, again, you might gain some insights. You might get some further information. What is really key is if you can remember the feeling that you had. So you may not remember what happened in the dream. You may not remember much of anything, but you may remember how you felt. You may have felt anxious or scared or excited or really happy. You know, you'll, ha you'll wake up because your emotions are gonna stay with you in your body. You're gonna feel them and they're more likely to stick with you so you can recount them later. You know, another uh, aspect of that too is if you can't really remember what happened, you can't quite place a feeling, you might remember like a symbol of something, like one thing or a color. Anything you remember is important. 
anything that comes to you is valuable. So write that down. Now, if you want a little extra credit or you want to really take a deep dive beyond you know, writing it down and getting whatever insights come just from that process, the next thing you could do is you can, if you did a voice recording or even a video, like video recording of yourself, um, which a lot of people find extremely uncomfortable, but if you do, this is a great tool and you can use this for journaling too so this is a great tip for video journaling if you're not really a, a journaler type person you don't like writing it all down um, you could voice record it and you can also use a, um, a video recording of your of yourself so for instance if you are writing it down you can read it out loud while you are doing a video of yourself on your phone no one has to see it this is really just for you but what's really interesting is if you watch yourself you will pick up on different cues from yourself from your body the the way you speak the the way your um, face may make a, a contortion or an expression the way you may see your your shoulders hunch in or your or you open up a bit more. It's all information that is giving you data about how you're feeling and what direction to go. So going back to the relationship example. So if you had a dream, and let's just say you had this, this question about a relationship, you have a dream and the dream takes you back to high school. And maybe there's not a relationship that shows up in the dream, but there's a situation in high school that re reminds you of something, reminds you of how you engage with someone else maybe someone of the opposite sex and how maybe you felt uncomfortable in certain situations. Maybe it had something to do with having hard conversations. That is information going forward so that you know, okay, clearly I need to take some time. Clearly I need to have a conversation with someone and it might be difficult, but I know in the end it'll be okay. And remember too, you know, now time has passed. You, even if you are still in high school and you're watching this, you'll have more information and more knowledge and now you've got more support going forward. Now the other key is when you have these clues, these symbols, these parts of the dream that you recall, you can look online, you don't even have to buy a book or anything special, and look up what do certain things mean? What do certain um, symbols mean? So for instance, a, um, I'm trying to think of an example, like a toilet, okay? So this is actually one that's fairly common, it sounds kind of weird, but a lot of people dream about things that we are used to in our everyday life, so a toilet being one of them. And so if you dream of a toilet, it's talking about releasing something, letting something go. Um, it's about something that may not be good for us, toxic even almost. And so it's, it's if you translate that into you know, the, the query that we began with about a relationship and you dream of a bathroom, it's like there's something that needs to be released. There's some aspect of this relationship that might be toxic that needs to go. And so you can take that information and inform your life. So it's really, really cool to be able to have access to this field of information that's coming through in your dream state and being able to remember your dreams, take the time to analyze your dreams and get information that you, you are all have access to already and use that to inform yourself and give you support and guidance going forward in the future. I hope that helps. If you love any more information or you love you know, a little bit more of a deep dive into dreams or the dream state or um, you have some dreams that you're looking for guidance on and maybe some support to execute whatever comes up in your waking life, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, send me um, an email, amalia at karmickindness.com and you can check out all of my offerings on my website, karmick, K-A-R-M-I-C, kindness, K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S.com.